Hi, I'm Matt Mansell, and I studied the dynamics of quantum duffing oscillators with Dr. Trees. Um, the problem is basically a periodically driven, damped, weakly nonlinear quantum oscillator, and we compared the quantum version to its classical analog. Here we have a picture of the classical analog. Um, we're interested in synchronization, and this is classical synchronization. In classical synchronization, you can use Newton's equations of motion, and we did so. These are the equations, and these graphs are single oscillator behavior. Um, the, we changed the parameters depending on what we were looking for. And after we did that, we looked into the synchronization of two coupled oscillators because that's the question that we're actually interested in. Um, when we studied the quantum case, we solved Schrodinger's equation for a periodically driven nonlinear quantum oscillator using a Hamiltonian operator of the form h equals p squared over 2m plus 1 half kx squared plus epsilon x to the fourth plus f cosine omega t, which is basically kinetic energy, harmonic potential energy, nonlinearity, and periodic driving force. We solved Schrodinger's equation, and that was simple until we added damping. Um, we added damping using the quantum state diffusion method, which is basically a method where the oscillator is a system and it interacts with an environment, and the average effect of the environment is what's put into the equation right here. Um, we use Lindblad operators, and these are the equations that we chose. They're normally linear combinations of the position and momentum um, operators, and we used a random number right there to randomize the system because in quantum mechanics things are often very random. Um, we calculated various expectation values. We did so by letting the wave function start as an eigenstate of the harmonic oscillator and over time change using Schrodinger's equation. Um, we found the expectation value of x, x squared, p, and p squared, and also the expectation value of the total energy of the system. We graphed the energy versus time, and in this graph, we varied the damping coefficient, and as you increase damping, the energy damps out faster, which is exactly what we would expect. In this graph, we added a driving force, and the same sort of situation happens, but now it ends up being periodically driven at the end. And in this graph, we added nonlinearity, which turns out to be kind of a pain, but we are working on trying to figure out a way to, to make it work. <laughs> um, in this graph, we are seeing position versus time, and when you increase the nonlinearity, the frequency stays the same, but the amplitude gets smaller, which is not the same thing that we saw in the classical case, and we're not certain why that's the case. Um, the future plans, we're looking to solve Schrodinger's equation for two coupled quantum duffing oscillators to see if they'll synchronize, and if they do, then we'll see how that could be used for Josephson junctions because they can be modeled using this model. Um, the, the problems that we encountered were using uh, the numerical methods that we used, fourth order Rungakata will not handle taking, well not, it won't handle this situation when you add the nonlinearity and because of that, the nonlinear oscillators are very unstable. Um, 
to thank Ohio Wesleyan University and Dr. Trees and the National Science Foundation. Thanks.